We're getting into deep water here this playoff series. Hi, everybody. Welcome back to EA Sports. I'm James Cebulski. Game four set to go tonight. Opening face-off just moments away. You can feel the intensity of this one. Total playoff atmosphere. We're underway. What an opportunity, and they can't convert. That's a chance you just don't get back, obviously, James. I, I mean, you're, you're right in scoring position, and you don't even test the goal. From the right side, they gain the zone. And now it's grabbed by Lee. Sends the pass in front, and that goes off a stick. Barry's taking it from his own end. Up along the wing. The Islanders have it now. From the defensive zone, they move the puck around. Poked away at center by Yamamoto. Across the line, along the left wall. Oh, love the defensive stick work there to poke that one away. Wallstrom's carrying it ahead. The Oilers look to start the transition game. Shot, scores! The Oilers tally the game's first goal. When you get yourself into the middle part of a period, this is where the game starts to take shape, and now they've got the lead. Puck is dropped, and we are back underway. Here's a short pass to Kane. Quick pass to Pugliarvi. It's in the back of the net. He scores! That surprised him so quickly. They've scored two goals in just about a minute 20. That sure changes things here on the ice. Yeah, the game has completely been turned upside down. Inching closer to the midway mark of this period. The Oilers have all the momentum right now, leading by two. Nugent Hopkins wins the draw. Quick feed to Kane. Moves into the slot. Decides to think about it. Loose puck battle along the boards. Moves it quickly over to Kane. Back at the point, they set it up. The Oilers looking against the hot wall. Under all sorts of pressure, trying to protect the puck. Moves it to Pasho. Oh, what a chance, and it goes sideways. From the left side, they enter the attacking zone. Knocked away by Murray. Bouchard's gained the line and on the attack. Slides the puck to Pasho. Poked away yet centered by Bouchard. Scooped up along the wall by Kulak. And some good footwork to kick it away. Edmonton's got the puck along the boards. On the attack, they come down the right wing. New York's got control of it now from their own end. They try to maintain possession inside the defensive zone. The Islanders take it along the wall. Here's a short pass to Martin. That was amazing! What a save by Campbell! In the final moments of this period, the Oilers are currently sitting in the driver's seat, leading 2-0. Nice job tying up his opponent. Kind of lost control for a second there, but regains possession. The Islanders played along the boards. And that carries off a body in traffic. Scores! The pinball tight goal! That would be a perfectly placed shot. Hits the inside of the goal post and into the net. Officials ready to drop the puck and get things back underway. won the draw. First period nearly in the books here. Oh, he had the right idea, but couldn't make that play with the pass. Puck picked up by Barry. With some open space here in the neutral zone. Sends it over to Yanmark. And with 
that, the first period comes to an end. Both teams will have a chance to get a breather, and they'll be back on the ice with period number two in not too long. Teams are back on the ice. Both squads gliding into position for the start of period number two. The second stanza is underway as the puck is dropped. Let's go. Offside the call. We'll get a face-off coming up. Still plenty of time left in this frame. New York's trailing by one. won the draw and they take possession here in the open ice New York's got a hold of it against the wall from behind his own net the Islanders are in transition takes the pass and now it's over to Bailey fails to find the open man good battle along the boards for the puck sends it quickly to pull off Edmonton's got the puck quick pass to Yamamoto Passes it to Bailey. New York's looking to break out of their own end. Quick feed to Dreisaitl. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Takes the feed up ahead. In all alone on the breakaway. Oh, he denies him. What a save. Now he was locked in on that. The shooter prepares the puck and the goaltender is right on top of it to make the save. The Islanders scoop it up along the boards. Picked up along the wall by Pullock. Tries to get it to Beauvillier. Puck scooped up by Murray. Moves it quickly over to Wallstrom. Oh, had a chance to make a nice move and the puck disagreed with him. Trying just a little bit too much there, foiled on that play. Romanov's lugging the puck. Manages to hang on. The Oilers pick up the puck here in the neutral zone. Battling for it along the boards. Looking for space inside the D zone. Gaining momentum along the wing. Moves it to the middle. And he shuts down a great scoring chance there. Slides it over with pace to Paul Berry. Sends the pass across the ice. Pass broken up. Edmonton's got the puck along the wall. And that pass doesn't go. Moves it to Pacho. And the puck skips away after that move. Here's a short pass to Hyman. The Islanders take possession in the defensive end. Edmonton's got control of the puck. McLeod's got it against the boards. Slides it across to Martin. The Islanders work it through center. Quick pass to Bellows. Poked away in the offensive end. Skates to the crease. Campbell's going to cover it up for a faceoff. While his team's ahead, he wants to make sure the pace of the game stays at the level they like. Here in the late goings of the period, Edmonton's up 2-1, and the crowd has been enjoying this one. The Oilers win the draw. Nearing the 40-minute mark of the game. Edmonton's got the puck against the boards. The Islanders have it against the wall. And that's broken up. Oh, they couldn't connect on the play. There it is. That's a wrap for period number two. Both teams will get a chance to get a little breather here. And we'll come back. Third period action next. Register now for our shoot to win. We'll shoot a puck from center ice to try and win an exciting prize. Welcome back to EA Sports. The final frame looms here as the officials set to drop the puck on period number three. And the puck is dropped, and we are underway here in the third. Ray Ferraro is back down at ice level. Ray, 40 minutes played so far. What's been your assessment of this tilt? New York's fortunes in this game are going to rely almost entirely on whether they can get more pucks to the net. 
But the fact that they're even in touch with this game is a bit of a surprise. They've really not generated much at all. Taken along the wall by Yamamoto. Kalix moving the puck through his own zone. Kicked away. Nice pass saved by the goaltender. McDavid's always so good with the puck on his stick. Even when he trips and looks like he's going to fall and crash, he still gets the puck on the net. That's really impressive. Tries to make a move and can't hang on to the puck. I know what he's trying to do, get into space to shoot it, but now you got to chase because you've turned it over. Nothing doing on that. Oh, big time save by Campbell. They worked the puck into a scoring spot, get a pretty good chance on goal. They just can't find a way to finish it off. Couldn't make the connection on the play. Edmonton's all alone. Scores! Wow, what a goal! Nice hand, great finish. Little short break in the net. The Islanders have made this a game once again here in the third. Oh, set up for a race to the finish now. Tied here in the middle portion of the third period. He's got a hold of the puck off the draw. Quick feed to Pugliarvi. Here's a chance. Denies him on the play. Good save. Positional save through travel. Through the neutral zone, moving the puck along the side. And he'll dump it in. Edmonton's got it in their own zone. Kane's got the puck. Here's a shot. That's blocked. The Islanders play it along the boards. Tried to make a move and the puck hops away. Don't mind the idea, but it doesn't work. Now you got to chase. New York's on the attack. Edmonton's gained possession along the boards. Smart defensive play there. New York's responded to an early kick in the pants when they've had to fight their way a long way back to tie this game up. Slides it up front. Locks it into the offensive zone. Stretches one out to Ryan. And he regains control of the puck. Passes it in front. Scores! What a finish on the play! The Oilers take a huge lead here now in the late stages of this one. Question is, can they hang on? Hanging on's the wrong way to do it. You want to try and be aggressive if you can. See if you can melt the game away in the other team's end. Edmonton's won it. Moves it quickly over to McLeod. The Oilers play it along the wing. Sends a pass over. From the left side, they gain the zone. New York. And that goes off the post and out. The Islanders trail in the game, but it's not for lack of effort. There's another one that climbs off the goalpost and stays out. Moves the puck to Hyman. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Ryan. Picked off by Omeno. Right up the gut into the offensive end. A chance in front. And that's stopped. The Islanders carry it along the wall. Handles the puck in the corner. 49 seconds to go. 45 seconds. To go here. Oh, what a save with the stick by Campbell. New York, Scully is on the bench. The extra attacker has jumped into the play. Moves it to Marcel. Oh, stick save and a puke. Now, this is a good save here, James. I mean, he's got to read the play to get into position to make this stop. A difficult one from the slot. The Oilers get a hold of the puck in the open ice. Exploring options here inside the defensive zone. Slides it quickly to Marcel. And he gets in front of the slot shot to make the save. Final horn sounds bringing this one to a close. Well, we've got ourselves a series here right now tied up at two. That sets up a critical, important game five. Now that we're locked up at two, who will get a leg up again? And that'll do it from ringside, everyone. For Ray Ferraro, my name is James Sabalski. Get home safely. Thanks so much for joining us.